The Kansas City Chiefs are doing what nobody expected, so we're going to be going through that and other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video, and if you want more Kansas City Chiefs news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The Kansas City Chiefs are shaking up their practice squad a bit ahead of Week 3 of the 2023 NFL season. League sources tell A to Z Sports that the Chiefs have terminated the practice squad contract of DT Danny Shelton. In a corresponding move, the team signed CB Darius Rush to the practice squad. The latter move was expected after the team waived Rush from the 53-man roster to make room for Chris Jones over the weekend. Shelton was an odd man out in the cans in the practice squad. The play of Derek Noddy seems to have left the team with enough confidence to set loose the former first-round pick Shelton, who made strides this offseason after spending the 2022 NFL season on the Chiefs practice squad. They also have players like Neil Farrell Jr. and Keandre Coburn, who fill very similar roles on the defensive line. As for CB Darius Rush, the Chiefs will get a chance to develop him on the practice squad. They first claimed him from the Indianapolis Colts during 53-man roster cuts, who had selected him in the fifth round of the 2023 NFL Draft. The 23-year-old was always going to be a bit of a project as a defender as he didn't start playing cornerback until 2019. He could wind up making contributions on special to any injuries in the secondary. In quite some time, the Kansas City Chiefs won one of their uglier games on Sunday against the Jacksonville Jaguars. But, as this fan base and the media say, they only play weird games. That was definitely a weird game. There is an issue with the offense. The biggest reason it falls under that category is because of what we saw on both sides of the ball. Since Mahomes has been the starter and Andy Reid has been the head coach, this franchise has been known for its offense, not defense. Based on what we have seen in the first two games, that could change this year. Let Mahomes tell it. The defense won the game for the Chiefs on Sunday, and he's kind of right. Yeah, defense was incredible, Mahomes said after the huge win. That's a really good offense, and for them to shut them down, they were like zero. Four in the red zone, with a couple of critical stops where we turned the ball over, and then three and out a couple of times, and they kept holding the field goals and holding them. I mean, that win is... The defense won that game. In week one, even in a loss, the defense allowed an elite offense in the Detroit Lions to score just 14 points. The Lions defense scored the other seven points on a pick six. Their offense with their weapons has the potential to be top three in the league. And the Chiefs defense, one that used to get run over, literally held them to 15 points. Then let's look at the game this last week. The Jaguars also have the potential to have an amazing offense especially with the addition of Calvin Ridley. The Chiefs held them to no touchdowns and three field goals. The Jaguars were in the red zone three times and couldn't score a touchdown. That is elite defense, the same defense that won them the game. Sure, Mahomes threw the game ceiling pass, but the defense was the very reason they won. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes had quite the 28th birthday celebration. On the exact date of his September 17th birthday, he defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars 17. 9. And on the very the next day, he received a substantial raise. It's not an extension, but the Chiefs have restructured his $450 million contract, which goes through 2031, so that more money is guaranteed and upfront. He now will receive $210.6 million between 2023 and 2026, the most money in NFL history over a four-season span, and his compensation for those years is now guaranteed. I got a little more money up front. Mahomes said. You get that security. I already had it. But just to get a little and then be able to go out there and just play football, I'm excited for it. The Chiefs and Mahomes plan to revisit his contract again after the 2026 season. We'll kind of redo it and renegotiate it whenever we get to that mark that we talked about, he said. It's a special place and a special relationship that I have with the team to be able to trust them to be able to. This raise was necessitated by the lofty contracts given to quarterbacks of late, including Joe Burrow's record-setting deal. After the Cincinnati Bengals quarterback's recent five-year $275 million extension, which includes $219 million guaranteed and averages $55 million per season, Mahomes dropped to eighth among quarterbacks in average annual salary, $45 million, with nine more years remaining on the contract he signed in 2020. Mahomes was cognizant of that. He not only wanted keep pace for personal reasons, but also to help the future contracts of other quarterbacks around the league. You've got to keep the bar going, 
Mahomes said. I don't want people to be negotiated against me. That's the reason you do something like I did, just to try to keep the market moving in the right direction. The revised contract now places the reigning MVP back near the top, while also giving the Chiefs flexibility to sign and retain other players. Keep a lot of great dudes around me and keep cap space for other guys to get signed as well, Mahomes said. That'll be something I do throughout my entire career to try to obviously make money for myself and my family but keep a lot of great players around me as well. Mahomes is the face of the NFL and has made a strong case as the league's best quarterback and best player.